Hello friends, once again, it's me, recording a Nancy Drew Let's Play, and today I'm going to be playing the White Wolf Bicycle Creek. Um, I'm actually in the middle of a heat wave <laughs> at the moment, there's one happening where I am, so I've got a little fan going, so apologies if you hear that in the background, but just pretend it's a frigid Canadian wind blowing outside. I guess we should read the case file, as is tradition. We need to know what we're dealing with here. Oh, she's not she's not gonna read it. <laughs> sometimes she reads them, sometimes she doesn't. This time she's electing to not read it. Hold on. I will read it. I will undertake that task. Current assignment. Head to the Oh my god, can the person outside just quit <laughs> mowing their lawn for a moment, please? <laughs> Isn't this like a typical thing when like YouTubers try to record? Something's always happening outside. But it's not even like outside IRL, it's in the game. Nancy's neighbor is going absolutely ham with that lawnmower. Okay, thank you, sir. He obviously heard me talking. Nancy's got her window open. Anyway, um, Head to the L Icicle Creek Lodge, a small guest lodge deep in the Canadian Rockies of Alberta, Canada. You can hear him trying it again. How big is this fucker's lawn? Try to figure out why so many accidents have been happening there. The woman who runs the lodge, Chantelle Moeek, we hate her, uh, called me out of the blue saying that Ben and Ed Raleigh from Shadow Ranch had recommended me. Uh, wish we were going to Shadow Ranch right now, honestly. Wish we were going back. There needs to be like a, a direct sequel to Shadow Ranch, I think. She sounded so desperate that I couldn't refuse. She said she was on her way to Edmonton to meet with her lawyers. So her handyman, Ollie Randall, will pick me up at the airport. She told me it's been really cold and snowy there, and that I should pack accordingly. And then she said something about a wolf. The connection was getting really bad. I could barely hear her, but I'm pretty sure she used the word prowling, or was it howling, along with dangerous. And be careful, accidents are one thing, but wild animals? I hope I know what I'm getting into. Boy, howdy. Oh my god, he's still going. Yeah, let's just get out of here. There won't be any lawns to mow in the Canadian Rockies in the middle of winter, thank god. Um, the junior level provides a lot of help and hints. <laughs> More experienced players may enjoy playing the senior level first. I think you could say I'm an experienced player, um, <laughs> but even more experienced players sometimes appreciate a lot of help and hints. Okay. When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little girl, Freddy. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of I think Chantal's her. just <laughs> trying to manipulate Nancy here. She's like, she's young. She won't she know best practices. Afraid so. Insurance company's giving her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left running the lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot, especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall, and I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. A long faint howl. <laughs> you hear that? Ollie, keep your eyes on the road, please. Well, what was that? I love how this game starts out with a literal bang and then just goes downhill from here. <laughs> but still, it's a great way to start off a game. No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. That's where Elsa and Becky have been living. Guess it was a good thing they quit after all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have any idea why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Oh, that does it. Nancy, you have to find out who or what is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. You sure you don't want to give your daddy a call? My dad runs I feel like other people employ Nancy in these games, they'd be like, oh my god, an explosion? I'm not gonna let this teenage girl put herself in danger. Danger, Nancy, go back home right now! But Chantel's like, Nancy, you have to commit to this. 
No, Nancy, please. That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Your cook? That way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests. <gasps> so, <laughs> Nancy's not just being well, a detective, a fun, but she's know. also being no, a maid a and a cook, which were two separate roles previously, but Nancy's having to do three jobs at once. This is what Chantelle expects of her. And I, you know, I don't think she's paying Nancy. It's so exploitative. I'm gonna be pretty busy trying to get rid of that wolf, Chantal. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. Very suspicious. <laughs> the wolf well, set the bomb. <laughs> oh, and Nancy, I want you to call this police detective I've hired as a consultant. I put his number. Why, like, I literally like. Why would she hire Nancy and then go ahead and like be like, I'm gonna hire another detective? Like, why? <laughs> Tino Balducci. Like, the, the lodge is failing, Balducci I thought. Master like, she needs all the money she can get. Well, I guess she isn't paying Nancy, actually, so she, she might as well hire a second detective. Two detectives for the price of one. And I bet Tino doesn't come cheap. Tino's got enough self-confidence. Like, probably more self-confidence than he really deserves. So he's probably, like, top of the line. Like, the designer detective. He's, like, the Gucci of detectives. Detectives, or at least he thinks he is, when really he's like the old navy of detectives. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, okay, um, <laughs> let's get to work. Oh boy, I just love playing a video game to relax and then finding out that I have to work. Um, this must be the great. key Ollie said he'd leave for me. Yeah, I if you hadn't gathered it by now, which guest yeah, is yeah, in yeah. what room? Um, come in handy. I am not particularly fond of this game. It's the actually the only Nancy Drew game that I've ever rage quit in the middle of. The first time I played it, um, I think I got to Fox and Geese, and then I was like, no, no, I, I, I'm not doing this, and I just like quit the game, and I left a negative review on Steam. But I have gone back since then and completed it one or two times. I've got like 21 hours of this game on Steam, which feels like a lot for only one and a half complete playthroughs. I hope it's not that long of a game, but this game does have so much tedious stuff, like all the- oh my god, can this, this clock shut up? First we've got the lawnmower guy, now we've got the clock. I like can't concentrate. Um, You've got to do all the meals, which are three times a day, so you're just like in the middle of something, you're like, oh my god, I finally am like figuring out how to solve this puzzle, and it's like, oh fuck, it's noon, I've gotta go make the guests pancakes, oh heck, and then you have to do the maid duties every day, and then like, even when you're not doing that, like, the actual gameplay is quite tedious, like, having to get all the different toasty packs, and like, wading through the snow to get to places, it's just such a literal chore. Um, like, this is definitely feels like a chore heavy game, even when you're not doing chores, <laughs> like technical chores, but even still you do a lot of chores. Why is my own wardrobe locked? Oh, thank god. Wait, can you open Nancy's suitcase in this game? No, why would they even put in her suitcase if you can't open it? That's half the fun of seeing Nancy's suitcase is snooping inside it. They didn't even understand that very basic fundamental in this game. I know there are some people who like this game, and I know there are some of you freaks who actually enjoy Fox and Geese. Uh, no shame. <laughs> Great way to start a video, Chloe, by absolutely insulting um, a core part of your audience. Um, but it's just not for me. Maid duties. Look at this! Look at this! Like, what the fuck? This was literally, like, done by, like, yeah, skating pond maid duties, maintenance. skating pond oh, maintenance. Like I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything while I'm here. I feel like that should be Ollie's job, in all honesty. And like, Nancy sounds so excited. She's like, gee, boy, golly, I can't wait to maintenance the skating pond. Jesus Christ, Nancy. Report all avalanches. 
to the avalanche patrol. Why does Nancy read like that? Like she's never read anything before. Criminal activity. I love how they've got like this whole employee contract and there's a section on criminal activity followed by the section on the sauna. <laughs> Employees should remember that heat and moisture sometimes cause the door to the sauna to stick and should periodically check to make sure that no guests are stuck inside. That seems like a, a design flaw. Shouldn't Chantel get Ollie to fix things like that? Isn't that like his literal job? He's the handyman? Like that sounds like a major concern that your guest could get stuck indefinitely inside the sauna and we know spoilers if you haven't played this game that you can basically die in the sauna after like less than a minute if you like it's dangerous in there oh god okay we don't have to do breakfast today we have to do lunch and we have to do dinner jesus christ like, my actual real-life job, I think, is less work than this. I mean, like, to be fair, it should be, because Nancy, like I say, is doing three jobs at once. No big deal, though. And it doesn't matter that she's not getting paid. <laughs> like, she should be getting three times the salary for this, I think. But she didn't say anything! I was about to say, we do love the games where Nancy gets to go to the washroom, but... Usually she has a bit more to say than that. I'm just like, I'm imagining them recording the foley of that. Like, what? I just want to have been, like, a fly on the wall in that recording studio. Fight the power. Fight the power! Nice Nicholas Falcone reference. What actually am I supposed to be doing right now? You know what, actually? Um, Nancy needs to use the washroom again. She had a lot of water. What was that guy thinking? That's a reference to Red Knot, right? That's why I like <laughs> I like making Nancy go to the washroom all the time. I like giving her chronic small bladder syndrome. Nancy's a small bladder girly, because we get all these fun references to past games that I really wish I was playing right now. Um, I did been that. There, done that. Oh, been there, done that. That's a new one. Get the master key out. Been there, done that. Okay, I'm already sick of it. <laughs> oh, let's just get started. Like, these people are adults. Can't they even make their own beds? Oh, I need the laundry bag. I should probably do that first. And I guess I should snoop while I'm here. Can I just- is this like a master key? Let me in! God damn it. I don't know why Nancy doesn't carry a lockpicking kit with her at this point. Like, all the times that she badly needs it and she never has it. Well, I probably should go get the laundry bag before I get any further. Jesus. I can't believe they just, like, throw you right into this as well. Like, they have that really thrilling start with the explosion, and you're like, oh boy, can't wait to play this thrilling Nancy Drew game. And they're like, okay, let's go. Let the thrills begin. The first thing you have to do is laundry. <laughs> There's like no like zero way to make laundry thrilling. It just it's not it's it's not a thing. Like even if you played like heavy metal music in the background, even then it just wouldn't be thrilling. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be fun. I would actually love to stay in this um hotel though. Oh actually <laughs> other than the, the dodgy management, um it's pretty cozy, it's pretty nice. World Championship Venue Remains a Mystery. We only need to read the headlines, right? That's where they tell you all the most important information. We don't need to know anything else. Like, literally no one in this hotel knows how to make their own bed. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Biathlon Biennial. The Fr Fredonian Freaks. <laughs> Fredonian Freaks <laughs> in your area. <laughs> oh, look. Volkstaya hates to lose. There's underlining. I expected to win and I always did. Knowing your enemy is the surest way to defeat him. I know my, some of my competitors better than I know myself. Some believe he studies his competitors so he can eliminate them. 
<laughs> so he can kill them. This thing always bothers me. What the fuck is this? What kind of nightmare botched tax attorney is that? He's just a little freak and I kind of love him. I think her interactive should sell this as merch. Um, for the little freaks out there who want their own little freak, you know? I'm only supposed to use this door if it's an emergency. God, Nancy's boring. <laughs> who has never in their life gone through an emergency exit only tour like only nancy drew i think she's like no i, I could never do that I could never go in there it's, it's illegal this must be where i drop the laundry yeah, yeah. bag after i'm done cleaning all the rooms yeah i played this game before nancy thanks oh she's having a shower just a, just a quick little shower a speedy one um to wash off all the guests sweat <laughs> their laundry that she picks up um, I guess we should snoop at these little things. Chantal, this is my formal notice of resignation. Please call me at 555-2383 if you expect any delay with a check. Elsa. I've put a claim to your insurance company from the damage I sustained to my tires by the wolf. Like, all the so-called adults in this game, like, what is wrong with them? Like, first of all, none of them know how to make a bed, and also all of them are somehow, like, so easily duped into the idea that, yes, there's a wolf out there setting bombs, slashing tires, and poisoning potato salad. Like, in what world, like, what nature documentary have you watched that shows a wolf poisoning a potato salad? Like, please go back to school. Like, please. I think you missed out some essentials. My darling Elsa, remember how I told you that I love you more than anything? Well... That that was true, but what's even truer is that I'm going to love you forever. I thought he was going to be like, that was true, but, uh, you know, it's not me more. Um, blah, blah, blah. I love you very much, um, L. Sappy. Looks like Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. Um, I'm starting to get real jealous of that lodge you work at. You spend way, way, all caps, more time there than you do with me, and I don't like it one bit. I can't help myself, I'm so in love with you, it's getting hard to see straight. And that's the truest thing I ever told you. He th really loves to throw around the word true. Also, what in the toxicity? Elsa, please, get out of this relationship right now. Like, who the fuck is like, I'm jealous of your job. Are you married to your job? If you love your job so much, why don't you just marry it? What's wrong with you? What <laughs> working? Getting money? What the hell? Um, yeah, very toxic. Very bad vibes there. That is- that is what they call a red flag, my friends. If he's jealous of you going to work, it's time to break it off. This time, when I read your letter saying you weren't coming, I didn't get sad, I got mad. Yeah, this man scares me. I can't believe you think working as a stupid maid at some stupid lodge for some stupid lady whose name I can't even pronounce is more important than spending time with me! If I didn't love you so much, I'd tell you to go take a flying leap. But since I'll love you more than anything, I'll just have to do something else. Like, you, class A manipulator, like absolutely guilt tripping her. Oh, if I didn't love you so much, clearly you don't love me as much as I love you. Look at this, like maybe take your precious collection of troll dolls out of the box you store in the garage and dump them down the disposal. Or maybe I'll sell them on eBay for a nickel a piece. Like that's, absolutely awful that's like abusive behavior um also is ebay not a copyrighted term are they allowed to just throw around ebay in their games what the fuck l what the fuck i hope elsa got out of there fast let's call her actually and say please elsa <laughs> i don't you don't know me but please tell me you got out of that relationship you we're not calling ned okay elsa Spill the beans. Ma'am. You know, she's probably avoiding the phone because she's panicked that her toxic boyfriend is gonna come chasing after her. Am I gonna ever gonna mess it get a message that 
she's not gonna pick up? Like, does she have voicemail? Does she not? Like, this is 2010! Surely everyone has voicemail! Actually, is this 2010? When the fuck did this game come out? I'll Google that while we wait for her to pick up. Pick up the phone, babe! Pick up! Okay. <laughs> we just gave up. Oh, 2007! I was, I was quite far off in terms of Nancy Drew games, but still! It's 2007! Surely everyone has voicemail. Avalanche Patrol, I, I think, um, Elsa Sibelhoff's house was destroyed by an avalanche. That's the only reason I can think of why she isn't picking up when I call her. Um, so I think you should get over there right now. Avalanche Patrol, what's your location? Uh, Icicle Creek Lodge? There's been an avalanche at Icicle Creek Lodge? Yep, yep. No, no, that's just where I'm It's a metaphorical from. avalanche. I'm not reporting an avalanche. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm fucking lonely. You report an avalanche? You call us. You want to chat? You call my mother-in-law. She loves to chat. You want her number? Uh, no. I guess not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess we should call Chantel. Okay. Chantel, I have some complaints to make. Just a couple. About every Hi, aspect that you expect me to do, <laughs> to be responsible yet. for. Oh. Yeah, I'm not comfortable. I've had a bad dealings with Tino in the past. About Tino, I'm not totally comfortable with the idea of consulting with him on this case. Why not? Two heads are always better than one, and I find him to be very knowledgeable and kind of charming. Chantel, it's a little irresponsible, but fine. If I need any suggestions, I usually call people I, you know, trust. I insist that if and when you're stumped about something, you ask Tino to help you out. That's so That's fucked up, I Chantel! Mean. Nancy's like, I'm uncomfortable um, talking to Tino. I've had bad experiences in the past that I don't want to talk about, and Chantel's like, no, 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 I insist you talk to him. I insist. In fact, call him right now. Suck it up, little bitch. Let's ask her about the accidents, because that's what we have to do. I'd like to hear more about the accidents that have been happening around here. The first thing that happened was the worst. The Farringdale family and Becky the cook all came down with food poisoning and had to be hospitalized. Somehow, the potato salad got contaminated, although Becky swears it wasn't because of anything she did. No, it's because of something the wolf did. Definitely. Awful it was. All five people became violently ill at roughly the same time. But were they all in the same room? Of course not. They were spread out all over the lodge. Poor Elsa was cleaning for days. And the odor? Oh my gosh. Anyway, yeah, yeah, we Elsa was cleaning for days. I'm gonna be cleaning for days and cooking for days and detecting for days. Don't tell me about Elsa's problems. Then the phone wires were cut, and then oh yeah, and then the south weights were almost overcome by fumes when gas started leaking into the sauna. This seems awful. And she still has the place open. Like I would close, you know, like some hasty um, damage control. I think that, like, makes absolute perfect sense, but instead she's like, nah. Oh, also, you might have noticed I've got a different blanket. I have one of the, her attractive Nancy Drew blankets now. It's very soft. It's very stylish. I hope you like it. Highly recommend, actually. It was a lot softer than I expected, and the quality of the print is actually pretty dang good. So, who's suing you? No one yet. But my lawyers are I'm shocked, to honestly. Trying to figure out what preventative measures to take. You'll hear from me again later. Why does that sound like a threat, Nancy? You'll hear from me again later. One more thing. Ask Yanni if it would be alright if I used his name and picture on the Icicle Creek Lodge website. I mean, when I finally have Oh, website. great. Another, another task. Okay. For sure. your little bitch Good. to do. Talk Thanks, to Chantel. <sighs> Well, let's tr go try to meet some people, I guess. Look at the cool stuff this launch has. Wow. So Bone neat. which Trapper Dan found near the lodge. He believed it came from a race of giants known as Rexes. The bone's not there. Yeah, sure, Dan. Sure. 
Dan was out in the cold all alone for a bit too long, methinks. Okay. Snowshoes owned and used by Trapper Dan in the early 1900s. I love how they so don't trust any of the guests to not steal the precious snowshoes. But that's like the only thing they keep locked up. Uh, <laughs> not the snowshoes. They need to pres be preserved for all time. This picture's missing. Trapper Dan's needle. Trapper Dan's needle. Why he built it remains a mystery. Like I say, he was out in the cold all alone for just a bit too long. This one's also Young missing. Young and old alike have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge throughout its 100-year history. Wow. Hmm, looks like some of the pictures are missing. So 1907, depending on when these pictures were put up. Lizzie Applegate! Suggestions from Lizzie Applegate, seen at right, reportedly came in handy when, in 1905, okay, before 2007 then, a heavy pelt tax was levied on fur trappers, and Trapper Dan added hidden chambers, passageways, and hard-to-open locks to the lodge to facilitate his smuggling opera. <laughs> his smuggling operation. But I like that he was like, I'm gonna create all these these hidden chambers in my remote lodge um, and stage an elaborate opera about smuggling there. <laughs> I like I like to think of that as a concept. I actually think that's way more interesting than what it actually means. God damn you, Trapper Dan! <laughs> well, we could have had a smuggling opera. It would have been so beautiful. Oh God, the kitchen. We don't want to go in there yet. I'm staying out there as long as I possibly can. Like, this room is so cozy. I'd love to just, like, come on vacation. A nice, like, you know, kind of restful vacation where you just spend a lot of time, like, not doing too much, not trying to see everything and do everything, but just, like, spending time to relax and, like, sit down and do things you love. Like, I would love to just sit there and, like, read my book by the fire. Oh, delightful. I absolutely never play fox and geese. Honestly, if I was in Nancy's position here, the mystery would never be solved, because I would just refuse to, to play fox and geese four times. Food poisoning, comma, wolf plague at Icicle Creek Lodge, not the wolf plague. Oh no! The Daily Moose, your wellspring in the wilderness. Sasquatch sightings hit five-year low. Now, that's a tragedy. I feel like that should be the headline. That's what I care about a lot more. Um, is it just me or does this man look a lot like Brendan Fraser? I just- I feel like they just took a picture of Brendan Fraser and then heavily photoshopped it to represent the area man attacked by Wolverine. Oh, look! Some suspects! It's about time! Well, hello there. You must be the new maid Ollie told us about. I'm Bill Kessler. This guy's Lou Talbot. Hey. Oh, it's painful. What's your name again? Nancy. Nancy Drew. Just thought I'd come over and say hello. Well, Lou here is a grad student. Art major of all things. You're probably gonna need a jackhammer and some hydrochloric acid to clean his room, eh? I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'm actually from Canada. Um... <laughs> His accent pains me so much. Also, the way he just tacked A onto the end of a sentence there. Like, that's not the way that Canadians would use A. They'd be like, oh, good weather today, eh? Um, things like that. You wouldn't be like, just tack it onto whatever sentence you're saying. Oh my god, it's just... Like, no one can in Canada sounds like this, I can guarantee you. Um, also though, as much as his accent physically pains me and gives me stomach cramps, um, is it too early on in this Let's Play to be a little spicy and say that I think Bill Kessler is a total dilf? Like, oh my god, I think out of all the men in the Nancy Drew universe, except for Dave, Bill Kessler is the man that I'd most like to date. Actually, hmm. No, I'm keeping that thought to myself. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think he'd treat you right. And look at him. He's got his, like, sexy mustache. This beautiful strawberry blonde hair. I don't know. I think there's just a little something about him. Are you two old friends? Not hardly. I've known Lou for all of, what, about a week, I guess. I checked in right after he did. 
We sat down after breakfast one morning and discovered that this fox and geese game is pretty darn fun. Wrong. I've been whipping his tail ever since. Um, actually, question. Uh, people who are not from Canada, um, watching this, do I sound like Bill Kessler to you? Is that what I sound like when you, when you hear me speak? Please be honest. As much as it may hurt, please be honest. You didn't just come here to play games. I love Nancy's judging the way he chooses to spend his vacation. I'm like, my god, you couldn't come here just to play freaking games, did you? Gone. Oh, loser. She'd definitely be judging me, um, coming all the way to Icicle Creek Lodge just to, uh, read my book in front of the fire. She'd be like, really? You can read your book in front of the fire anywhere. Stupid little nerd. You didn't just come here to play games, did you? Heck no. Well, I just came I here came to play games. Of course, um, there's a renegade I came here to play games, and instead I ended up enthusiasm. working. <laughs> working without pay. Literal slave labor. Um, Nancy Drew, slave labor of Icicle Creek. Have you seen the wolf? Just heard it. Every night since I've been here, in fact. Gets creepier each time. They should get rid of it, and the sooner the better. No, I don't with agree with you there, Bill. This place 40 years ago, and they shouldn't put up with them now. Who would argue, Little Red Riding Hood? That wolf's not hurting anybody. People should just leave it alone. You'll be singing a different tune when it has some little kid for breakfast, then has you for Oh, <laughs> can't can wait for it to eat Freddy! Trust me, if something bad can happen, chances are it eventually will, dude. Look, he's hip as do. well. Shovel Total build. Skating pond, so we can do some speed skating. <sighs> Lou here thinks he's faster than me. You're like ancient. Of course, I'm faster than you. You may have youth on your side, my friend, but I've been working construction since before you were born, which means I am more fit now than you will ever be. Under that cozy that sweater, Bill so Kessler this, okay, is absolutely ripped. Tell me that he's not a dilf. Although I don't like how he just like orders Nancy around. He's like, shovel the skating pond. I want to skate. <laughs> Do it, peasant. I guess he's like that age where um, they just expect service workers to do everything. I can see why he didn't make his bed. Like, just because a service worker can do something doesn't necessarily mean that you should expect them to do it. It's like that attitude of people who, like, spill their popcorn everywhere and then, like, leave the bags and their drink cups behind at the movie theater after the movie's over. And they're like, oh, well, it's their job to clean up. I tell you, I worked at a movie theater. I did not appreciate that shit, especially when you've got like a lot of different theaters to clean all at once because all the movies end up roughly at the same time. So you're like trying to finish as quickly as possible because you're understaffed, but someone has left five drink containers, three candy wrappers, and ten half full bags of popcorn on the seats and also spilled popcorn all over the floor so you're wading through it up to your thighs. It's not a fun time, I tell you. I don't appreciate that attitude. I feel like everyone who says, oh, it's their job, when they go to the movie theater and leave all their shit and trash behind, they should try working in a movie theater uh, for a week, um, the opening week of a Marvel movie, preferably. Try that and then see what you say. We'll see if you change your damn tune. Anyway, <laughs> let's go into the basement. I can't go outside, not without a coat. It's too cold. Coward. Oh, look at- look at those thighs! Wow, they're pretty defined. Oh, uh, the posture. Oh, no. <laughs> is something wrong? You, you are what is wrong. Chantal said there would be no more guests to make noise at all hours and disturb my training. Yet what stands before me? A new guest. No, no, I'm not a guest. I'm Nancy Drew, the new maid. And the new cook. And the new Thank detective. You. And the new over. skating pond I shoveler. I am here to train for the Eastern European Cross Country Championship. I spend my days doing interval work, drills, and isometric exercises. I could tell from your thighs. I a strict program, one painstakingly designed by a team of the best coaches in Fredonia. In fact, 
Under no circumstances are you to use your key to let anyone into my room. My competitors are constantly spying on me, trying to steal my techniques. You think someone's spying on you way out here? One can never be too careful, so know this. If anything is missing or so much as out of place in my room, you can expect a visit from me. And it will not be a pleasant one. Okay, that was definitely a threat. He's gonna come into Nancy's room in the middle of the night and beat her up. <laughs> Have we not suspected this guy of the sabotage? Like, maybe the cook um, put onions in his, his salad when he didn't want onions. And so he took his revenge by poisoning the potato salad. I mean, it seems in character. Have you ever seen the wolf while you were out training? No, for which I'm very grateful. In my country, in Fredonia, it is said that the gaze of the wolf will make you go blind. Really? They are creatures of infinite evil, and that is all I'm going to say on the matter. Infinite evil? Chantal would like to use your name and picture on her website when she gets it up and running. Would that be okay? I'm sorry, but no. Oh, well, so much for that. Honestly, fair enough. You're busy, so I'll let you go. We'll talk again, I'm sure. Because I'm sure Chantal wouldn't pay him for the use of his image on her website. She's just looking for free publicity if she can get it. Also, one of my favorite things about Yanni and this game in general. Also, look at the fuck! Like, uh, like what the fuck does Ollie do all day? There's this unfinished tile floor, which 100% looks like a safety hazard, considering there's like a loose tile just chilling out here. How many of these tiles are actually glued down? Like, no wonder they're having so many near fatal accidents as if if this is a shoddy workmanship that goes into this goddamn lodge i think all of these accidents are just caused by ollie's carelessness and irresponsibility that's my theory um what i was gonna say is one of my favorite things about this game is um you like yanni they could have put him in like any position like you know they have let's go see him actually quickly so i can demonstrate my point so ollie is back here like behind a desk this is like, like our main angle of him um so and that like that was a choice but and they could have had yanni in like a similar position where you just saw like his his upper torso um, from behind the desk, because I'm sure it's like even more work to have to animate the bottom half, especially when he's constantly squatting over there. Um, um, but no, they they chose to model his own body, and not only that, to give you this choice view of his beautifully sculpted ass. This was a choice on her interactive's part. They want you to know that Yanni has a beautifully round toned butt. They want you to know that. That's like an essential part of his character. Look at that! And he even shows it off basically in his pose. He's posing. Like deliberately. He's like, oh, check this out. Like they want you to see it. They want you to appreciate it. Um, and I really respect that decision. <laughs> anyway, that's a, a big thought in my mind. These are the things I think about when I play these games. Need something? Um, I need a lot of things, actually, Ollie. I need some accountability from you. Um, for one, why haven't you fixed the sauna door when literally people could die from getting stuck in there for, like, two minutes? Um, two, what the fuck is going on with the tile floor? What the hell are you doing over here when you could be fixing that tile floor, which is a, a safety hazard, to be quite frank? And, uh, three, why the fuck are you not? Like, you know, sweeping off the skating pond, shoveling off the skating pond. Also, why can't you even help out in the kitchen? I know you're probably, like, this very macho man's man, and you've got some, like, internal misogyny because of that, where you're like, women belong in the kitchen. It's an unnatural place to, for a man to be, but, like, surely you could come and at least chop some veggies for me. Lend me a helping hand. I'm working three jobs here all you're only working one and you're not even working that to your full potential like there's so many half-finished jobs around here anyway you, you don't look busy 
Nancy, that's you're just being kind. I'm just trying to get the lay of the land, or the lay of the lodge in this case. Well, this is my workshop. I'm building something that's going to solve all our problems. Well, why don't you fix the problems that are already present, Ollie? You think the wolf is causing the accidents? Not a this is what he's mind. prioritizing. Everything was a okay till it showed up and started howling. It's bad luck, and something's protecting it. Something unnatural. I like this idea that there's some like supernatural force protecting the wolf. I feel like it. It's not really a big thing in the story. Like I feel like this is the only like reference to it. But I think that concept is really interesting, especially because like. Think about it, it could be Trapper Dan's ghost. That's so cool. I wish they'd like rolled with that idea a little more. Also, I just noticed there's like a blood stain on the wall back here. What's going on in this place? Ollie! <laughs> I have many questions. Does Ms. Mawikwe know you're doing this? She knows she doesn't want that thing around her guests. And you heard her. I'm supposed to do whatever I think is necessary to get rid of it. <laughs> You want to destroy it just because it howls at weird times? Let me tell you something. Yesterday I went looking for it. I tracked it and finally found it, sitting across the creek, not 20 yards away from me, just staring at the me. The creek. So I raised my rifle, drew a bead, and fired. Easiest shot I've ever taken in my life. And I missed. So I fired again, and I missed, and then I missed again, and again. And all the while, I just sat there staring. Well, the Ollie, I think instead of blaming a supernatural force on your shitty aim, maybe you should just admit that you need to get good. Like your aim isn't like it used to be. Like You're not in your prime anymore. Really weird about that wolf, and I ain't gonna rest till I get rid of it. So maybe we should just find something else to jaw about. But also, I love the idea of Trapper Dan's no, ghost just, like, <laughs> leaping yep. back and forth to catch the bullets. She built herself a little snow fort. Just sits out there waiting for somebody to go by so she can. Pick He's also a terrible fire. parent. Like, he just lets his daughter sit out day, in the snow all day. That's how you yeah, get sick. That's how you freeze to death and die. <sighs> There's a lot of problems with Ollie, honestly. Like, I almost am more peeved at Ollie than at Chantel at this point. Yeah, let's ask him about his divorce. Is your wife Freddie's mom? Does she live here too? In the summer she does, but in the winter she goes south. Oh no, See, they're not even divorced. Oh yeah, sensitive. yeah, that's what she tells Freddy you, I'm sure. Her, but until Chantal stops putting off giving me that raise she promised me, sending Freddie south too is out of the question. Why? That's awful! <laughs> like, and like the her mom doesn't have anything to say about this. She's like, yeah, I guess Freddie can stay here. Like, does she know that Ollie just? Like, puts Freddy out in the snow in the morning and says, Okay, kiddo, <laughs> have fun. I'll see you at bedtime. Like, and also, um, no wonder Chantel hasn't given you a raise. Like, I've been here for five minutes and I've seen at least three reasons why you shouldn't get a raise. How do you explain what happened to Carl Jenkins, the former guest who slipped on the stairs and broke his leg? Can't explain it. One minute those stairs were clear and dry, next minute they're slick with ass and he's lying at the bottom of them. You're positive they were clear and dry? Yep. Chipped every bit of frozen snow off of them myself. You know, I don't yeah, actually believe that, Ollie. I haven't seen you do, do a single did, piece no, of work no, the whole time I've been in here. I don't believe it. I'd better get back upstairs. I think he's just saving that to save his behind. Like, Look, oh, this is him working hard. Just, like, uh, vaguely touching things on his work table. Like, it's like me pretending to be busy at work by typing in key smashers on my computer. Like, look at him. Yeah, he's really getting a lot done. He really doesn't have any time to shovel off the skating pond. Or, or heaven forbid, help me- Oh fuck, make lunch! Oh no, <laughs> speaking of, I better get up there or I'll get, I'll get fired! How terrible that would be. I love how, like, yeah, Nancy- They don't make her leave because there's an explosion. Um, but boy howdy, if she's not in that kitchen promptly to make lunch, she's out. She's out. No second chances here. Okay, here we go. Good gravy. 
Okay. Bill is having a quesadilla and a hamburger? I think that's excessive, Bill, actually. Choose one or the other, please. Can I just put- oh, I can't. Oh, oh god! Oh, god. <laughs> Throw that in the trash. Wait. I should have put the burger on first. I forget how this mechanic works, honestly, and I don't want to read the cooking manual. Okay, he wants a burger with two cheese, one lettuce, one tomato, one onion, one mustache, mustache, one mustard, and one ketchup. I do like how the food looks on the plate, though. It always looks quite appetizing. Order up. Oh, thank God, Lou. <laughs> Only wants a quesadilla. You're you're my new favorite guest, Lou. Don't tell the other guests, but you're my favorite. There we go. Order up. Okay, Freddy. That's a whole ass hamburger. When I was a kid, I would not have eaten a burger. Like, there's no no way. I would have been like quesadillas all day. Like my little brother is eleven, and he still like only <laughs> eats quesadillas. He refuses to eat any other kind of food except nachos, which are basically just quesadillas in a, in another form. Two onion. Again, when I was a kid, I would have like literally vomited if you put an onion in my mouth. This is a weird little freak kid. Quesadilla for Guadalupe, who we haven't met yet. What's she, what's she been doing all day? I got an Ollie. Wants a quesadilla and a hamburger as well. Order up. He, oh, he needs all this, this sustenance to give him energy for all the, the hard work of pretending to be hard at work. I'm gonna put the burger on first this time. I think that's the play. So what would be on your hamburger? <laughs> what would be your lunch order that I would grumble and complain about making in this game? So I personally would have like a pickle cheeseburger. Maybe with lettuce as well. Not lettuce, tomatoes as well. Fuck no lettuce. I'm not a rabbit. I don't want to spend my life eating leaves. It's fucked up. Like, I, I literally don't get why Ollie couldn't be over here flipping burgers. Like, that's a very suitably manny, man, manly activity, and it really doesn't take that much effort. Like, he's got a very feeble excuse for why he is unable to help me in the kitchen at all. You know, I love cooking mini games in Nancy Drew games. Like, put me and on the Waverly snack bar, and I could do that all day. I even like the ones that involve math, like the Shadow Ranch cake. Um, but this one is just objectively awful, I think because it forces you to do it three times a day, which comes around all too frequently. Um, and if you don't do it, um, then you fail. <laughs> and die. No, you don't die, but... <laughs> Chantel takes you out back and executes you. <laughs> no, Chantel just supervises Ollie, um, you know, his- you know his gun obsession. He'd be the one, um, taking the shot. I love this taxidermy bear, also b done by the incredibly shoddy, um, taxidermist who did that- boar question mark upstairs like it seems like whoever did the taxidermy in this place didn't have any fake eyes <laughs> and also like what is going on with that nose but i also like i don't actually love taxidermy because i think it's like kind of awful but um i kind of do at the same time get a kick of over like cheesy taxidermy like this one where they've like posed him with a little fishing bag and a little fishing pole like he's just going out to the river fishing like totally personifying um an animal who wouldn't like behave that way um in real life like when they put like little sombreros on weasels and things like that um i think it's kind of funny but yeah, also just the whole concept of taxidermy is awful, so I, uh, I'm i conflicted. Well, I might make some more phone calls quickly first, because we gotta get that out of the way. 
Why do we have Yanni's phone number? When are we gonna call him in Fredonia? Like, he's literally in the basement the whole time. Hi, is this Mr. Jenkins? Yeah, this is Carl. Not Mr. Well, my name is Nancy Drew. I heard that you had an accident at Icicle Creek Lodge and wondered if you could tell me a little more about it. Not much to tell. I... Ha! Take that, Captain Keen! I went there to do a little ice fishing and I slipped going down some stairs, fractured my tibia in two places. Can't work, can't go out. All I can do is sit around and play this stupid video game. Oh, no, you don't! That's I me playing the Nancy Drew. Were a little icy. They were covered with ice. I was lucky I didn't fracture my skull. Yes, yes! See, look, I'm about four laser strikes away from ruling the Gargulian galaxy, so I gotta go, okay? You got any more questions? Check with the people at the large gotcha! <laughs> what a gamer. Hello? Hi, are you Mrs. Farringdale? Put your socks on in the car, okay? We're late. This better not be a sales call because I really don't have time. No, no, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'm calling from the Icicle Creek Lodge. You know, in Canada. After what happened to me and my family, I have no intention of going back there ever, no matter how many freebies you throw in. I thought I made that clear. Put that cookie down and get in the car. I'm not really with the lodge. I just wondered if you could tell me what happened. The three of us had meatloaf, potato salad, and green beans for dinner one night. And by four the next morning, we were all sick as dogs and had to be taken to the hospital. We recovered quickly, thank goodness. But the minute we got out, we went straight to the airport. I will never- I wonder where the expression dogs. sick as dogs come from. Like, dogs aren't dogs typically known for being sick, it, usually, are they? Except for, like, old yeller, you know? Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm judging you for that too, actually. Sure, just pull out the orange slices and no one will notice. Oh my gosh, the orange slices. Susie, get in the car! We have to go right now! I guess we'll call the last person while we're here, and then we can go do some more chores. This game has so many phone calls, like phone calls and chores. Two of my least favorite things in the Nancy Drew games. Hello. Although sometimes, I like, some of the phone call Hi, contacts are quite fun to talk to, yes. and I feel like in this one they at least try to make them all unique and individual, like, these fuckers. <laughs> I'm not selling anything. I just want to ask you about your recent stay at Icicle Creek Lodge. You mean Gassicle Leak Lodge? <laughs> Gassicle Leak Lodge. <laughs> Nancy Drew, the white wolf of Gassicle Leak. Overcome by fumes in the sauna? Well, we had just gone ice skating, so we decided- Oh, that explains everything about them. Okay. Yeah, the fumes. <laughs> right, I can see how it affected them. We started feeling a lot woozy. A lot of woozy. Actually, I think you'll find he was Fredonian. Barely. By that point, the fumes were making us both ill, if you know what I mean. That poor skier. By the time he helped us get out of there, he was almost as green as we were. Awful experience. Horrible. And it was our honeymoon. Well, at least the owner had the decency to give us a full refund. Oops, the shuttle's here, sweetheart. We're off to Aspen. Kind of a second first honeymoon. Long story short, if you're thinking about going to Icicle Creek Lodge, don't. Well, I appreciate that. That's a bit late for that. Bye. Thanks, though. Oh, we will. Bye. Bye. Mm. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I don't like the emphasis they placed on that. Oh, we will. <laughs> okay, let's go. Shovel the skating pond. What else do I have to do out here? I have to check out the bunkhouse, right? To skating pond. Um, I'd actually rather check out the bunkhouse first. Which is the way to the bunkhouse? I wish there was a sign there. I don't want to have to go past Freddy if I don't need to. They better not follow this trail until I know for sure where it goes. Yeah, they need more signposts around here. Another task for Ollie to get on that feels a lot more urgent than um, making a wolf trap. For a wolf that hasn't even actually done anything except howl. Okay, um, I guess we have to go see Freddy. Although, like, I actually kind of 
love that one of one of the major aspects of this game is continuously beating a young child in the head with snowballs like absolutely obliterating her in a snowball fight and the fact that nancy always aims for the head over and over again like if this kid doesn't have the concussion by the end of the game um i think it's a lie <laughs> i don't well, i don't believe that uh, Nancy Drew? Nancy Drew shall not pass unless and until she proves herself worthy. And how does she do that? By hitting the snow prince. Oh, she's ice a ball. gatekeeper. Snow I see. Only, no ice balls. What uh -huh. are ice balls? I think I think Nancy's faking there. I think she 100% knows what an ice ball is and she usually uses it in her snowball you fights. You must be Ollie's daughter, Freddy. I am the snow princess. Prepare to defend yourself. I, I I can't lose to this child. I have my dignity and my pride as a professional gamer, my reputation, it's all at stake. Fuck this kid. My reflexes are sharp. No! God damn it, I was about to say, I even been drinking G Fuel. I have to cut this out of the video now. You will never know this happened. I can't believe I let myself get hit by her. How shameful. What's this? The face from a clock. It's all melted. Part of the timing device that was used to trigger the bomb that blew up the bunkhouse, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Is that... I, I think that's all we can see here, which is kind of disappointing. Like, you've got an exploded bunkhouse and we can't even get closer. Thank God she doesn't also make you <laughs> hit her in the face five or ten times um, when you're coming back as well. Like, why... Like, why does Freddy want that so bad? Like, it's not even just- you just have to play a game with her. She wants to be defeated. Um... I think that says a lot about her as a person. Guess I better get this pawn shoveled off. Oh, fuck. I forgot to take a picture of the instructions for this skating pond! You know what? We'll come back. I'll do it like a smash cut. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to go reread the instructions. Okay. I'm back. What? Great start. I, I, like, I feel like this is a puzzle where I don't, like, automatically remember exactly how to do it from the, oh, crumbs. Um, instructions, but I feel like it'll come back to me soon enough. So I remember this not being too bad, at least not on Junior. Okay, yeah, 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 it's all coming back to me now, just like the song. <laughs> this, this noise is really enjoyable to listen to over and over and over again. I love it. I, ca I can't get enough. Okay, yeah, this puzzle is really easy that on Junior. Do it. Wait a second. Those look like wolf tracks. Oh. Maybe I should find out where they go. Nancy's an expert tracker. Great idea to just wander out into the snow in an area that you don't know without telling anyone where you're going first. I think that's a really great idea, Nancy. A really good um, thing to Trevor teach Gans children. <laughs> What's this doing here? Strange. It's halfway in and halfway out. This thing must open up somehow. So the wolf was went inside. The wolf was wearing clothes and it went inside the needle. Uh, it was a werewolf! That would be excellent. I mean, I guess they already did have a werewolf game with Blackmore Manor. Um, but I say the more werewolves the better, honestly. The only thing better than a werewolf is a vampire. Or a vampire werewolf. 